Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. All sorts of things are going on at the moment. We have new buffs coming just around the corner. With the removal of the Valor Cap, we have 10.0.7 live on the PTR. We have my headset falling off my head. And we have... But no matter, no matter how good it gets, well, some things never change. Now the reason for our little intro comment regarding things not changing is this video was meant to be about the trading post. I kind of wanted to do a wrap up video just sort of summarizing my thoughts. What was good, what was bad, lessons learnt kind of thing. But um, that's kind of hard when I can't collect the rewards and kind of wrap this up with a nice big bow. If I have to go to the vault once more because I've been told I have things to collect only to then find out I have nothing to collect and my bar's been reset back to zero one more time, I will legitimately go insane. <laughs> now, Blizzard have stated this is a current issue they're aware of. No shit. Uh, and supposedly they are currently working on a fix. Now, I will say, once this fix has been in place, Blizzard said you're not going to lose any of the progress you've already made, and you will gain your mount, worry not. Well, thanks, Blizz. Maybe next time do a little bit of internal testing, just a little bit, or hell! I tell you what, we'll help you out. Just leave these things up on PTR for a while so we can actually get in there, try it out, and more importantly, you can monitor that progress and gain some data from it so that these things don't happen. But let's not stay focused on the bad. We want to po focus on the positive. Instead, let's look forward to PTR and patch 10.07 because the Forbidden Reach is now available. Yes, we can head over there now and go and look at things for ourselves. The starting area for the Drakthir, as we said before, is going to be our next zone. This technically isn't a bad idea, and Blizzard have done it before. I'm thinking of Tanan Jungle, where we start the expansion in a new zone, then eventually we're forced off of it, only to return. It saves a lot of development time. If that zone's already been there and created, the Blizzard team can go off and focus on new things. They can look at you know, use these resources for raids, PvP arenas, dungeons, world content, flawless features like the trading store. Oh, maybe it's not such a good idea. <laughs> but one of the things that is coming in 10.07 is the... I keep on saying Shakira Vault. Currently, not a vast amount is known regarding the vault. I know, we're getting too many vaults now, apologies. What we do know is it's located on the Moquette Inlet of the Forbidden Reach. This is kind of like the little landing zone. There's a flight point here and things like that for when you finally get here. And it appears to be some sort of treasure vault left behind by Ethereum. Keep in mind, knowledge there is treasure rather than wealth. Upon setting foot in the vault, we will be presented with a circular room featuring a number of doors. Now keep in mind what you're going to be seeing on the screen is kind of my version because it's believed that this is going to change from player to player. Granted this is the tutorial version I'm in now so potentially this is going to be the same for everyone and then only after this will it begin to change. Now the doors you can see around the room can be opened with these Shakira vault keys. These currently are gained from activities around the Forbidden Reach. You know the drill, kill rares, loot chest, yada yada yada. The interesting thing is it seems a lot less of a Torgar style encounter, instead of just focusing on just nuke, blitz and run, each room kind of instead interacts with the other. You need your keys to unlock them. I'll give you an example of me rambling on. I opened a door to a room and it was just, the whole room was on fire. It was just nightmare fuel. Everything was completely covered in raging fire, couldn't open any of the chests. Okay, so I left that one, I used one of my other keys to open another door. And I came upon a research room. And in this room was a crystal that obviously been tested upon or whatever it may be. When I clicked on the crystal, that gave me immunity from fire. Kind of getting the idea, we go into the fire room and we're able to open up all those chests. Now I know, you're going, okay, we can work with that for ourselves. What we need to know, what we want to know, and what I want to know as well, I'm with you, is, is this going to be something I'm forced to complete over and over again like Torghast? I personally... Love Torghast, but I will say this, I completely understand the hatred of being forced to run something. Islands, back in BFA, hated them because we were forced to do it over and over again. I, I cannot tell you how much it grated on me. 
I'll happily go and run them now, gain some mounts, that kind of thing. I love it, because I'm not forced to do it, I do it because I want to. So does this have some sort of BS currency, some sort of power that we can only get from here? Well, yes and no. <clears throat> Hope that cleared it up for you. Okay, look. The vaults are one of the places where we can get primordial stone gems. These are going to be the power gain in 10.07. We'll do a whole video on this at some point, but needless to say, they are going to be crazy powerful. Think, think gems crossed with the corruption powers that we had, actually funny enough, in BFA. Not quite as crazy as that, not a, the ability to stack them as much, but these gems are going to be pretty impactful. The vault is one of the places where we can gain these gems. Yeah, I can hear you groaning, and I'm with you. But keep in mind, this is all data mined. Nothing regarding these gems has really come out from Blizzard. We've got no details on this. What I'm kind of hoping is that these, the gems that come from this vault, it's going to be for those that want to do world content. Because obviously you're out there in the world, you're killing rares, you're gaining a lot of these keys, then you can come back and you can open more doors and try to get more of these gems. But if you're a raider, you're someone that does M+, plus, you do PvP, then you're going to get your gems via those methods. Maybe, hell, even you can use your vault key currency. So, and I mean, okay, this is getting confusing. As I said, there's way too many vaults now. You can use your weekly vault. You know, when you don't want to pick something, the selection isn't that great, you end up picking the currency that lets you buy like a, a, a gem socket. Instead, you might be able to do that. Okay, I am not going to use these tokens. Instead, I want to buy the specific gem that has the power that I want. I'm going to use my currency for that. Again, this is all entirely speculation. I have no idea whether that's the case or not. What I am interested to see as well is how far this goes. How far can we push this vault? Is it simply going to be six rooms a week? Is it going to be six rooms a day? From what I've heard at the moment, it is going to reset daily and there is just these handful of doors. Are we able to go further? Can, if we have an abundance of keys, can we keep opening doors, going further and further into the vault? More and more difficult challenges, more difficult puzzles, difficult rares and things like that and getting greater rewards? But still, with this whole, rather than the, just the Zerg that was Torghast, instead we can have something that's a bit more interesting and in-depth. The whole thing being, dare I say it, kind of procedural and just being more about exploring and discovery, as I say, than just speeding to the end. More importantly, and this I cannot stress enough, Blizzard, make sure it's not something that must be done. As I said before, there's nothing worse than being forced to do content. Look at people doing the mage tower i see constant cues outside the mage pad we don't have to do it there is no power gain from it yet still people stand outside and they try to beat it over and over again why because they want to test themselves because they find it fun and an enjoyable challenge that's what i hope we get from this new vault but yeah time will tell i'm not off to see if i've actually completed my traveler's log and i'm able to get my mount or if it's reset again. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Laters, everyone.